Hi, my name is Kagura Momoe. I know it's already the middle of the year, but I hope we can be friends. My name's Ryota Kongo, and a beautiful girl has transferred into my class. She's upbeat and polite. She'll probably be friends with everyone in no time. Nothing like an antisocial person like me. <laughs> huh? Did she just wink at me? No way. I was probably seeing things, so I stopped thinking about it. Kagura, your seat is next to Ryota's back there. Okay. The desk next to me is open, so I figured she'd be given that seat. She comes over. Let's be friends. Sure, whatever. And flashes a really cute smile at me. Is she interested in me? As a friendless high schooler going through puberty, I read too deeply into her smile. I quickly thought to myself later that this couldn't be the case. But she continued being cheery to me. So of course I misunderstand. During break. Hey, Kagura. What was your previous school like? What about a boyfriend? You seeing someone? I don't know if it's just because they're curious or if it's because she's really pretty, but lots of students surrounded her. It didn't look like I'll be able to approach her. A boyfriend? Yeah, I have one. Why is she looking at me? I figured she just happened to look in my direction. No special meaning to it. But our eyes met, so there seemed to be something to it. Darn it! You are seeing someone! Of course she's taken! She's cute enough to be an idol after all! Sorry guys, not really looking for a boyfriend now. Hope I can be friends with all the girls though. Her words were super effective. The guys turned around like they lost a big match. On the other hand, the girl started talking up a storm with Kagura. Part of me was kind of glad she didn't flirt with the other guys. During lunch that same day. Kagura, you want to eat with me? Sorry, I didn't bring a lunch with me. Oh, really? Let's go to the cafeteria then. It's okay. I didn't want to make you wait on me. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, okay. Weird. Is there a reason why Kagura turned her down? Hey, Ryota. Who, me? Who else? You going to the cafeteria for lunch? Yeah, and? Can you show me how to get there? I just got here, so I don't know where everything is. Sure, that's fine. Hey, I'm going there too. I'll take you there. No, I'll take her. I should guide her. I've already got someone. No, no problem. problem. You sure about this? Like she asked, I went to take her to the cafeteria with me. But I got self-conscious. About what? People might give weird looks seeing you with someone antisocial like me. Besides, you already have a boyfriend. Hey, now. Don't be so negative about yourself. You should focus on your good points. Sorry. And don't forget it. You're amazing, Kagura. You're cheerful and sociable, and you're already friends with practically the whole class. It's nothing special. But I couldn't do that. That's why I think you're amazing. I wasn't always like this, though. Wait, really? I had to work really hard to be sociable. I used to be really quiet and brooding. Wow, did something flip a switch? It's simple. I wanted the person I liked to like me back. Wow. Anyone can change if they put their mind to it. It's all up to that person if they can change. I can see why people are drawn to her. She's so bright and warm and everyone looks to her. Calm down, me! What am I getting all, all flustered for? Here we are. Is that where I buy lunch tickets? Yep. Well, I'll see you later. Not so fast. What is it? Where are you going? I thought you were eating here too. Well, well. Then stay and eat with me. What about your boyfriend? <laughs> don't worry about him. Come on already. There won't be any seats left for us. Hey, don't pull. What do you recommend? Hmm, we've got the fried chicken lunch and the tempura lunch today. So probably one of those. I prefer the roast cutlet curry though. Then I guess I'll get that. You sure? The said lunch is come with sides. But you like the roast cutlet curry, right? So I want to have some. <laughs> Someone could get the wrong idea if you say something like that. How is it? Huh? Oh, it's pretty good. Can I have a bite? I'll give you some of my lunch, too. What? Well, is it really okay to do this with a girl who's already taken? Open wide. Why are you spoon feeding me? Isn't this what people usually do? I'm not so sure about that. It's okay. Don't be shy. Hurry up. This is really not okay. Won't your boyfriend get mad? You're my boyfriend, so it's fine. What did you just say? Huh? 
I don't remember. You called me your boyfriend. I never said that. I'm pretty sure. I never said that. <laughs> More importantly, eat it already. Unless you want people to notice. You're the one forcing this, though. Just give it a quick chomp and be done with it. Fine, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> you ate it. Was it yummy? I can't really taste anything. Oh, really? We just had an indirect kiss, you know. How do you feel about that? <laughs> What's even going through your head? Just normal things, you know? Normal interactions between boys and girls, anyway. There's nothing normal about any of this! Okay, your turn. Uh... I have to do it too? It wouldn't be fair if you didn't do it back. I can't just pass you a piece of chicken? Nope. Fine, open wide. I couldn't say no to her smile, so I gave in and lifted a piece of chicken to her mouth. Uh, mm, this is good! Glad you like it. Not like I have room to talk. <laughs> also that goofy smile. Is she really that happy about this? I had my suspicions, but I couldn't bring myself to voice them. If it turned out I was wrong, I was scared I'd never be able to live it down. Lunch was delicious! You have great taste! All of the food is pretty good, in my opinion. It was especially good today. If you say so. Maybe she's just this friendly? She's cute and all, but I can't gauge our relationship at all. Hey, do you mind if I come hang out at your place? Again with a random request? Your boyfriend definitely wouldn't like that. I told you, it'll be fine. I just want to talk about the neighborhood, so let me come over, okay? She's so cute. If that's all, then I guess it's fine. My parents won't be home till late, though. Oh my! Dropping hints, are we? Very suggested of you. What hints? I'm not thinking about doing anything in particular. You sure? They do said men are like wolves. Stop teasing me already! Oops, did you see through me? Sorry, I really enjoy seeing your reactions. Please stop, I hate this! I'm serious about going to your place, though. I really hoped you were joking about that. Hmm. What, I can't come over? Huh? No, that wasn't what I meant. Hmm. Really, uh, there's no problem with you coming over. <laughs> I was just kidding. Take the joke. What? I don't think badly of you or anything, but you're so flustered. You're teasing me again, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll see you after school. And somehow, she ended up coming to my house. We walked home together after school and came to my room. Yep, definitely a guy's room. Well, I am a guy. True, true. I noticed something, though. What is it? You say you're antisocial, but we're talking normally, aren't we? I guess you're right. Must be your sociability if a guy like me can have a normal conversation. Enough of that. Why are you so down on yourself? I'm not. This is just how things are. That's not what I see at all. Kagura? Ryota, you don't see how you really are at all. Your being antisocial is all in your head. You're really not like this. Well, what's with you all of a sudden? Honestly, I was only going to tell you after I made you fall for me. But you'll never get it at this rate. So, change of plans. Um, Kagura? I'm not sure if I follow. Why are you trying to make me fall for you? What's going on? Here, do you recognize this? Kagura brought out a marriage registration form, and my name and hers are written on it. Wait, isn't this the one I wrote on with the girl I used to play with as a kid? A long time ago, there used to be a girl my age who lived next door. She was really quiet and cute as she followed me around. Her parents changed jobs one day, so they had to move. We wrote on the form as a sign of our bond. We wanted to remain connected somehow, no matter how far apart we'd be. Kagura, are you... Finally noticed, huh? Yep, I'm the Kagura Momoi I used to play with. Well, I changed a lot since then, so I thought you might not recognize me at first. You were the quiet Kagura who was afraid of strangers and wouldn't talk to anyone but me. Yes, that was me, but I don't like the way you put that. I swear, I'm not trying to start a fight or anything. Wow, so you're back, huh? It's good to see you again. Trying to fool me, aren't you, Ryota? Of course not, what makes you say that? I can hear it in your voice. Back to the main topic. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I really wasn't sure how to approach you. After all, you look starstruck by me. I thought maybe you fall for me without needing to tell you who I am. 
I could tell that you didn't see me as the girl I used to be at all. <laughs> That's because I saw you more like a little sister back then. Okay, so then why did you lie about having a boyfriend? Didn't you notice the look I gave you when the boys asked about that? Wait. I didn't change my name at all, so I thought you would have picked up on my signal and remembered me when I looked at you. And I would have been really happy if it could have happened without the name drop. Oh boy, she's holding the fact that I didn't notice her signals against me. The other reason is to keep other boys away. They won't go after a girl who already has a boyfriend, right? Yeah, not unless they're good looking and find you as attractive as other girls. Right? That's why I said I had a boyfriend. I was going to tell you later that I'm single when no one else can overhear. I see. So, that's the whole story. Although... What is it? To be honest, I wanted to make you fall for me without the explanations. But since you know who I am now and I've shown you the marriage registration form, shall we get married already? That escalated quickly. I mean, you're totally into me, aren't you? It's written all over your face. <coughs> we wrote on this as kids, so there's really no meaning to it, right? I was going to wait until you totally fell for me to bring it up. Otherwise, you just hesitate over everything. But since you're already in love with me, there shouldn't be any problem, right? I don't think we can get married till we're 18, though. Then we'll just go out until then. Why would you do this for... Ugh! Maybe you've forgotten about me after all this time, but I've never stopped loving you. That's why I worked so hard to change myself. So you fall in love with me back. I want to be by your side as soon as I can. Kagura. By the way, where I live is pretty far from school. When we were moving back here, I begged my parents to let me take the transfer exam for a school. If we're going to date and later get married, then they wouldn't object to us living together, right? You thought that far out, huh? You really have changed a lot. Girls will change for the person they like, you know? So, Ryota, will you give me your answer? Even if you turn me down, I'll just be after you for the rest of high school, just so you know. <laughs> if you put it that way, do I really have a choice? No, I don't think so. Jeez, you're totally right. I'm completely head over heels for you. Let's start dating, Kagura. Of course. I don't mind planning to get married if that's what you want. <laughs> I thought you might say that. I'm looking forward to going out with you, Ryota. Me too. Thanks to Kagura's straightforwardness, we started dating the day we reunited. And just as she planned, she started living together with me. Also, just as she changed herself for me, I started to change myself as well. With her advice, I tried being more fashionable and sociable. Thanks to that, I can talk to all of my classmates pretty easily now. Although, there's still a part of Kagura that's a bit childish where she gets jealous when I spend time with other friends. Still, I can't complain given how cute she is. I dote on her both at school and at home, so every day is a joy. <laughs>